1943. Allied pilots called it the Butcher Bird, a German fighter so deadly it rewrote the rules of aerial combat. At its heart roared an engine that shouldn't have worked, a radial monster born from motorcycle engineers who dared challenge aviation's greatest minds. The BMW 801 didn't just power aircraft, it powered Germany's brief air superiority. This is the untold story of the engine that nearly changed the course of World War II. In 1935, while the world focused on sleek inline engines, a small team of BMW motorcycle engineers in Munich embarked on an impossible mission. Max Frizz, the genius behind BMW's legendary aircraft engines of World War I, had left the company years earlier. His successors faced a daunting challenge, create a radial engine that could outperform the liquid-cooled masterpieces dominating aviation. The BMW 801 project began not from military contracts, but from corporate desperation. BMW's existing aircraft engines were outdated, and the company risked losing relevance in Germany's rapidly expanding aviation industry. The Luftwaffe demanded power, reliability, and performance that existing engines couldn't deliver. The team chose the most unconventional path possible a 14-cylinder two-row radial configuration. While their competitors refined inline designs, BMW engineers embraced the complexity of radial architecture. Each cylinder had to fire in perfect sequence, cooling had to reach every cylinder equally, and the entire assembly had to withstand forces that would tear lesser engines apart. But here's what made them truly revolutionary they decided to automate everything. While other engines required pilots to constantly adjust mixture, timing, and boost pressure, the BMW 801 would think for itself. The Commando Gerate, an early form of engine management computer, would monitor dozens of parameters and make split-second adjustments without pilot input. This wasn't just ambitious, it was borderline insane. They were creating technology that wouldn't become common in automotive engines for another 40 years. The engineering challenges seemed insurmountable, but BMW's motorcycle heritage had taught them something their aviation competitors hadn't learned. What they discovered in those early experiments would terrify Allied intelligence agencies and reshape the entire war in the skies above Europe. Inside the BMW 801's aluminum heart lay technology so advanced that captured examples baffled Allied engineers for months. The Commando Gerrit wasn't just an engine controller, it was mechanical, artificial intelligence decades ahead of its time. This device, roughly the size of a briefcase, contained over 80 individual components working in perfect harmony. Hydraulic servos, mechanical computers, and feedback systems monitored everything from manifold pressure to cylinder head temperature. When a pilot pushed the throttle forward, the Commando Jarrett instantly calculated the optimal fuel mixture, ignition timing, and supercharger boost for maximum power without engine damage. Direct fuel injection replaced traditional carburetors entirely. Each cylinder received precisely metered fuel through individual injection nozzles, eliminating the power losses and inconsistencies that plagued carburetor-fed engines. This system allowed the BMW 801 to maintain full power in any flight attitude, inverted, vertical, or pulling crushing G-forces that would starve other engines of fuel. The cooling system defied conventional wisdom. Instead of complex liquid cooling with vulnerable radiators, BMW engineers perfected an air cooling design that seemed impossible for such a powerful engine. Massive cooling fins and carefully designed baffles directed airflow across every cylinder, maintaining safe temperatures even during combat maneuvers. The supercharger represented pure German engineering excess. 
a two-speed, mechanically-driven compressor that could switch ratios automatically based on altitude and throttle position. At sea level, it produced 1,700 horsepower. At 20,000 feet, where the air grew thin and cold, it still delivered crushing power when German pilots needed it most. But all this sophistication came with a price that BMW's engineers were about to discover in the most terrifying way possible. The first test flights revealed a flaw so fundamental, it threatened to kill the program entirely. The early BMW 801 engines didn't just fail, they exploded. Test pilot reports from 1939 read like horror stories. Engine seized at 15,000 feet, forced landing in forest, connecting rod failure, oil fire in cockpit, complete power loss during combat maneuvers. The cooling system that looked perfect on paper became a nightmare in practice. The radial configuration created hot spots between cylinders that no amount of airflow could eliminate. Pistons seized, cylinder heads cracked, and exhaust valves burned through during extended high-power operations. Test pilots reported temperature spikes that could turn a routine flight into a death sentence. The Commando Girat, for all its sophistication, couldn't compensate for fundamental metallurgical problems. German steel shortages forced engineers to use inferior alloys for critical components. Connecting rods that tested perfectly in laboratories shattered under combat loads. Main bearings designed to last hundreds of hours failed after mere minutes of full power operation. Most terrifying were the random power failures. Pilots would experience complete engine shutdown without warning, usually during the worst possible moments. Combat reports describe German fighters falling from the sky like stones, their BMW 801 engines locked solid by catastrophic internal failures. The fuel injection system, revolutionary in concept, proved nearly impossible to manufacture with wartime precision. Tiny tolerances required peacetime quality control that German factories couldn't maintain under bombing raids. Contaminated fuel clogged injection nozzles, creating lean conditions that melted pistons in seconds. By late 1939, the BMW 801 program teetered on the edge of cancellation. The Luftwaffe needed reliable engines, not technological marvels that killed more German pilots than enemy bullets. BMW engineers worked around the clock, driven by desperation that bordered on panic. Then Kurt Tank, Fokker Wolf's chief designer, made a proposal that would change everything. He believed the BMW 801, despite its problems, could transform his mediocre FW190 prototype into the world's deadliest fighter. October 1940. British radar operators detected something impossible over the channel, German fighters climbing faster and flying higher than any Messerschmitt they'd ever seen. The Fokker Wolf FW190, powered by a perfected BMW 801, had entered combat and Allied pilots were dying. Kurt Tank's gamble had paid off spectacularly. While BMW engineers solved the 801's reliability problems through relentless testing and redesign, Tank designed his fighter around the engine's unique characteristics. The FW190's wide fuselage accommodated the radial engine perfectly, while its exceptional cooling system finally tamed the BMW 801's thermal demons. The performance difference was shocking. Where the FW190A-1 with its BMW 801C engine met Spitfire MKVs in combat, German pilots reported easy victories. The BMW 801 delivered 1,600 horsepower at takeoff, 400 more than the Merlin engines powering British fighters. This translated to climb rates and acceleration that left Spitfire pilots struggling to keep up. But power was only part of the story. The Commando Girat finally worked as intended, allowing German pilots to focus entirely on combat while their engines optimized themselves automatically. 
During violent combat maneuvers that would flood carburetor-fed engines, the BMW 801's fuel injection maintained perfect mixture ratios. When pulling out of high-speed dives, the automatic boost control prevented overboosting that destroyed other engines. RAF pilots reported encounters with German fighters that seemed to break the laws of physics. FW-190s would climb vertically, roll faster than seemed possible, and maintain power in flight attitudes that should have caused engine failures. Squadron leader Al Deer, a Battle of Britain veteran, described his first encounter, It climbed like a rocket and rolled like no aircraft I'd ever seen. Within months, the Butcher Bird earned its feared reputation across Europe, North Africa, and the Eastern Front. Allied intelligence desperately needed to understand how Germany had achieved such a technological leap. What they discovered in captured BMW 801 engines would shock them to their core and reshape Allied engine development for the rest of the war. By 1943, Allied bombing raids targeted BMW's Munich factories with devastating precision. Yet somehow, BMW 801 production not only continued but accelerated, reaching levels that defied military logic. The secret lay in a network of underground facilities, foreign labor, and engineering compromises that revealed both German ingenuity and the moral depths they'd sink to maintain production. As British bombers pounded the main BMW facility, production shifted to dispersed sites across occupied Europe, converted caves in Austria, underground bunkers in Czechoslovakia, and hidden facilities in France maintained the flow of BMW 801 engines to desperate Luftwaffe squadrons. Slave laborers from concentration camps worked alongside German engineers, their skilled hands assembling the intricate components under horrific conditions. Quality control became a nightmare. Pre-war BMW 801 engines were marvels of precision engineering, with tolerances measured in thousandths of inches. Wartime engines, built by exhausted workers with inferior materials under constant threat of bombing, suffered from assembly problems that plagued their service life. Engine failures increased dramatically, but the Luftwaffe had no choice. They needed quantity over quality as Allied forces closed in from all directions. The fuel injection systems, once BMW's crowning achievement, became liability under wartime conditions. Contaminated synthetic fuels clogged the precise injection nozzles, while the complex commando durate units required maintenance expertise that frontline mechanics simply didn't possess. Many BMW 801 engines were retrofitted with simpler carburetor systems, sacrificing performance for reliability. Material shortages forced desperate substitutions. Chrome nickel steel gave way to inferior alloys, Precision bearings were replaced with rougher alternatives, and even the cooling fins were simplified to reduce manufacturing time. Each compromise reduced engine life and performance, but kept production lines moving as Germany's industrial base crumbled around them. Despite these challenges, BMW produced over 61,000 BMW 801 engines during the war, a remarkable achievement under impossible circumstances. But as Germany's defeat became inevitable, the engine that had once dominated European skies faced its final, most critical test. May 1945. As German factories fell silent and the Third Reich collapsed, Allied intelligence teams raced to capture BMW's most closely guarded secrets. What they found in bombed-out facilities and hidden laboratories would influence aircraft engine development for decades to come. The BMW 801's technology was decades ahead of anything Allied engineers had imagined. American teams dismantled captured engines component by component, photographing every detail of the Commando Durate system and fuel injection technology. These innovations would eventually appear in post-war American engines, though BMW never received credit for their pioneering work. 
Soviet forces captured entire BMW production facilities, along with hundreds of engineers who would spend years in Russian custody, their knowledge extracted to power the Cold War's aerospace race. The influence of BMW 801 technology appeared in early Soviet jet engines and helicopter power plants, though the connection remained classified for decades. Perhaps most remarkably, several BMW 801 engines found new life in unexpected places. Captured engines powered Allied test aircraft, providing invaluable data about German capabilities. Some were reverse-engineered completely, their secrets incorporated into Western engine designs that would dominate the early jet age. The human cost of the BMW 801's development remained hidden for decades. Only after the Cold War ended did the full story emerge of the slave labor, forced relocations and human suffering that enabled German engine production. The technical achievement came at a moral price that cast a permanent shadow over the engineering brilliance. Today, only a handful of BMW 801 engines remain in running condition, preserved in museums and private collections. Their deep, distinctive rumble still sends chills down the spines of those who remember when that sound meant death from above. The engine that briefly gave Germany air superiority serves as a reminder of both human ingenuity and the terrible purposes to which that ingenuity can be applied. The BMW 801 proved that technical superiority alone cannot win wars, but it can certainly change them. The BMW 801 stands as aviation's greatest paradox, a technological masterpiece born from humanity's darkest hour. Its revolutionary fuel injection, automated controls and radial design principles influenced engine development for generations, yet its legacy remains forever tainted by the regime that created it. This engine didn't just power aircraft, it demonstrated how brilliance and brutality can coexist in the crucible of war. Keep watching Vintage Planes for more untold stories from aviation's most dramatic era.